So today we're going to be talking about when to buy certain grocery items each month and how you can save big bucks. Coming up next. Hi everybody, my name is Dee Burks and this is Retirement Rescue where we talk about how to make money, save money, and create a great retirement. Well today we're going to be talking about how you can save money just by understanding the grocery sales cycle and when you should buy what. I'm going to start in January talking about these items and we're going to go month by month in that fashion. However, there are a few things uh, to talk about first. Now, generally speaking, groceries run on a six to eight week sales cycle. That means a lot of the things in the grocery store are going to be on sale every six to eight weeks. But there are some things, especially non-perishable items, that only go on sale every 10 to 12 weeks or only at certain times of the year. So it's not that those things aren't always on sale. It's trying to figure out and learning when they're on the best sale. And that's how you really save money, especially if you stack your senior discount or your member cards on top of those sales. So take advantage of those. So we're going to talk a little bit about that as we go too. Now it's important to understand a lot of food items, whether it be meat, uh, vegetables, toilet paper, <laughs> whatever it is, they are basically commodities in a lot of ways. It's very much subject to supply and demand. As we've all found out the last few years, when they run out or the supply chain is disrupted, yeah, you just pay full price no matter what which is terrible, but it happens. However, there are also planned sales that happen every year at the same time where that supply is increased because they're anticipating those holidays or special events. Those are times you can really stock up and save. But let's go through things month by month. Now, first of all, you should always shop Monday through Thursday. The sales we're going to be talking about almost always start on Wednesday or Thursday and most people shop on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you can avoid those days, you're going to save more money. There are also going to be fewer people to deal with and they will have restocked the store so you'll have great selection. I mean, how many times have you gone late on a Saturday to the store and it's like they're sold out. They haven't had time to restock. By shopping Monday, through Thursday, you tend to have great selection, good pricing, and almost all senior discount days are on Monday through Thursday. <laughs> so it's really beneficial. But let's talk month by month. And when you think about grocery buying, it helps to really think about, okay, what's going on that month? So in January, what's going on? Well, snow's flying, it's cold. So food items that are popular are things like hot breakfast, oatmeal, grits, uh, any kind of that hot breakfast cereal, uh, soups, um, soup fixings. Anything of that nature is probably going to be on sale in January. And that's a great time to stock up on things like oats. You know, if you make little oatmeal cookies or whatever you do with oats throughout the year, that's a great time to buy them and stock up. The other thing that goes on in January, of course, at least in the States, is the Super Bowl. <laughs> and the Super Bowl is a huge food event, at least snack food. Uh, but things like chicken wings are on sale. Uh, things like chips and dip and uh, the party trays, which are wonderful. Uh, vegetable trays, sandwich trays, anything like that goes on tremendous sale. And if you buy some of those snack items, crackers, cookies, whatever, those are going to be on sale during that time, during January, end of January, and early February. So that is a great time to buy those items. Now in February, you're still going to have some hot breakfast items on sale, but you're also going to generally have canned goods on sale. This is after the holidays, people are starting to cook again. <laughs> after the Super Bowl, they're sick of snacks canned food really goes on sale and it will go on a very good sale in February. 
Um, this is the time if you want to stock up on canned goods and buy things by the case, it's a great time to do it, is in February. February also has Valentine's Day, so of course you're going to be able to get candy if you so choose to buy that of any kind, and especially right after Valentine's Day when it goes on 75% off. Great time to buy candy. But during Valentine's Day, they also put other things on sale associated with that holiday that you may not really think about. Things like steak, lobster, things to fix your sweetheart that dinner, uh, things like wine, specialty wines, and uh, things to celebrate with your sweetheart. So, you know, when you think about February, it's not just about cards and candy. It's also about the food that is associated with Valentine's Day. And for Valentine's Day, that tends to be high-end food. You know, um, I realize some people take their sweetheart to Taco Bell, but most who still want to have that sweetheart don't do that. <laughs> they may make steaks at home or lobster and have a really fancy dinner. So that's the time to buy some of that higher end uh, product that doesn't go on sale that often. Now let's talk about March. In March, they tend to have large sales on frozen foods, vegetables, pizzas, uh, convenience food, you know, frozen lasagna, anything like that. Uh, March is when they tend to have really good sales. This is when I tend to buy a lot of frozen vegetables uh, because they really go on sale. March is also usually the time when breakfast cereals really go on a good sale. And that's a great time to buy breakfast cereals. Now, breakfast cereals will often rotate, you know, a few cereals every week or so. But during March, they tend to mostly be on sale. So it's really easy to find the kind you like and get it at a great price. And also in the U.S., uh, March is March Madness. It's a college basketball blowout. It basically goes all month. And so those snack foods, just like during the Super Bowl, those snack foods are on sale again. So that is, again, a great time to buy those products is during March Madness. Now in April, we have Easter. So things like ham, um, eggs, you know, for those Easter baskets, but it's a great time to buy eggs <laughs> is uh, during April because of the Easter season. It's also a great time to buy anything that is kosher. Now, whether uh, you are kosher for religious reasons or not, the one thing I get that's kosher is kosher salt. I use kosher salt when I can during the summer and fall. And let me tell you what, it is on the cheap during April. You know, trying to buy canning products uh, during the height of the season in August, September, when you are trying to can things, the stores run out of everything, especially these days. So many more people are canning their own food. So that is one thing I absolutely buy in April is kosher salt. Now, May is really the official kickoff to summer. Um, May, June, July, August, September, you have Memorial Day, 4th of July, and Labor Day. These are huge holidays. The summer is a huge buying time for groceries and many, many other items. But May kicks it off. And you're going to have your summer kickoff sales and your pre-Memorial Day sales that involve all kinds of meat to grill, hot dogs, hamburgers. It doesn't matter if it's uh, pork ribs or brisket or whatever it is you grill, it's probably going to be on sale during the month of May. Not only that, but things associated with that are also on sale during the month of May. Paper products, charcoal, that's, that kind of thing is all on sale during the month of May. Now something else that some people don't always think about, I do because it's big here, is Cinco de Mayo. Mexican food items and Mexican specialty food items go on sale in May, and Cinco de Mayo is the 5th of May. And so things like uh, your margarita mixes, taco shells, enchilada sauce, all that stuff is usually on sale right around that time. So if those are ingredients that you use or want to have in your pantry, that's the time to buy them. Now during June, dairy products are at their height. Um, and so dairy products will be on sale. Your cottage cheese, butter, uh, cheeses, things like that. A lot of those items you can freeze. 
So don't be afraid to stock up when those things really go on sale. I know butter specifically this last year has had some wild swings. Well, everything has. And so don't be afraid to buy butter and freeze it. You absolutely can do that. Uh, don't be afraid to buy cheese and freeze it. You absolutely can do that. Um, that is absolutely your choice. But you can get a really good price on those things during June. Now, those things also go on sale every six to eight weeks. It's just that during June, almost all of them are on sale. So it's a really great time to buy a lot of it. Now, toward the end of June, you're going to see pre-4th of July sales. Uh, depending on when the 4th of July falls, <laughs> You might have a week or 10 days before the 4th of July where the items for 4th of July, like hot dogs, ketchup, barbecue sauce, all the condiments, pickles, all that stuff goes on sale. Now, in addition to all the things for 4th of July to grill, to snack on, you know, all of those summer foods, you will also see a lot of ice cream go on sale. July is National Ice Cream Month, so you're going to see all your frozen desserts, frozen treats, frozen ice cream, popsicles. A lot of that stuff goes on sale in July, and it's a great time to stock up then. And being at the height of summer, a lot of people eat a lot more sandwiches during the summer. They're not in the, in the kitchen cooking those hot meals and uh, warming the whole house up. They're eating simple sandwiches. You know, they're feeding the kids sandwiches. So a lot of deli meats, bread, uh, basic things of that nature to make sandwiches goes on sale in July. So uh, that's a good time to take advantage of getting some of those deli meats and that sort of thing. Now let's talk about August. In August, everyone is thinking back to school. And how that affects groceries is Things like peanut butter, jelly, deli meats, things to fix kids' lunches, like the little snack bags of chips and the little pudding cups and all the things that go into lunches go on sale. Also things that go on sale are Ziploc bags. You all know how much I love zip Ziploc bags for just about everything. This is a great time to stock up, as well as the little plastic storage containers for food that you put in your fridge. This is the time to buy them because they all go on sale. It's back to school. People are looking for those things to put in kids' lunches, and you can take advantage of that by getting those items at a really steep discount. September. Now, one of the things about September that a lot of people don't really realize is that it is National Diabetic Month. And in September, a lot of the stores put all of their diabetic products, their cereals, their uh, sweetener substitute, all those products that are specific to diabetics go on sale. And that's a great time to, to scoop those things up if you're diabetic. Things like jellies, jams, uh, things that are really specific that you need go on sale. Also on sale in September, because that first blast of fall is happening for a lot of the country, are things like soups, uh, those warm comfort foods, uh, sugar, flour, uh, oil, things to bake with start going on sale in September. And specific fall items like fall coffees, fall teas, those sorts of things start going on sale really hardcore in September. Now in October, of course we have Halloween, so it's another opportunity for you to get wonderful candy <laughs> if you so choose. October is also the time that fall baking really ramps up. And so many, many things are on sale. <laughs> Everything from nuts to chocolate chips to uh, mixes, all kinds of baking mixes go on sale. Um, all the ingredients go on sale. It is a great time to stock up on fall baking. And this includes things like canned pumpkin, canned pie filling. Uh, and another thing is spices. This is a wonderful time for you to trade out some of those old spices. And I know some of you have those ground clothes from 2014 still sitting in your cabinet. <laughs> this is a great time to replace those spices because they really go on sale. And spices are expensive, y'all, as, as you well know. And this is a great time of year to replace any spice in your cabinet 
that has expired or just doesn't have the potency it used to. This is also a great time to buy things like vanilla <laughs> that you always need. So look in your spice cabinet during October and figure out, okay, what needs to be replaced? Because this is the time to do it. One other thing that people don't often think about that usually always goes on sale in October is seafood. October is not a big seafood time in the U.S. <laughs> and so this is a time they start putting a lot of that seafood, shrimp, scallops, whatever, on sale. And you may be able to buy it for a very big discount. So look for seafood because those things will pop up during October. Now November, as everybody knows, is Thanksgiving. For Canadians, it's in October. But for U.S., it's in November. And this is a huge food holiday. It's one of the biggest food holidays next to Christmas that we have. And so many, many items are on sale. Everything from canned goods to items specific to Thanksgiving. Your cranberry sauce, turkeys, dressings, anything like that is going to be on sale. But also items that are on sale are your oils, um, Crisco, um, anything that helps you make those foods, and that's the time to buy those items. Those pantry items that you use all year go on significant sale around Thanksgiving. This is also a great time to buy uh, those coffees. Uh, K-cups go on sale in November. Um, any kind of hot cocoa, uh, spice drink mix, uh, teas of course, regular coffee of course, that is a great time to buy those items during November. So there is a lot of money being spent on groceries during the holidays, and this is a time you can stock up and have significant savings all year long. Now let's talk about December. You know, one thing I really haven't mentioned, but it is true for Super Bowl Sunday, March Madness, Memorial Day, July 4th, uh, Labor Day, and of course the holidays, is alcohol. <laughs> if you happen to drink alcohol, that is the time you can absolutely buy it uh, really inexpensively. I like to drink eggnog during uh, Christmas time, and a lot of other people do too, and that's the time I buy it. And I usually will stock up on that, uh, and I buy the bottled eggnog that sh that's shelf-stable and already has the booze in it. <laughs> Uh, that's what I buy and I can have that for several months afterwards because I really really love eggnog. <laughs> but if there's something you really like alcohol wise then stock up during the holidays because that's when it's going to be on sale. <laughs> now in a lot of ways um, the sales in December kind of mirror the sales in November with a few really specific differences. During December even though yes turkeys are still for sale a lot of people don't eat turkey for Christmas dinner. They eat turkey at Thanksgiving, we were this way by the way, and they'll eat beef or something else for Christmas dinner. Uh, some people do eat turkey at Christmas dinner or they'll have both. Maybe they'll have ham, maybe they'll have whatever. We eat prime rib. That's Christmas dinner for us. And so there's a larger variety of meats on sale for Christmas that weren't necessarily on sale in November because it's kind of turkey centric. So look for those other meats that are on sale. The higher value meats like a prime rib, that's not a cheap piece of meat y'all. But those sorts of meats that are normally very, very expensive really come down and you can buy them at a significant discount at Christmas time. And also, you know how September, October, November are kind of big baking uh, sale months? Well, December really isn't. By December, people are kind of done baking. They're going for the convenience stuff. So frozen pies, frozen cakes, <laughs> frozen convenience food is it. <laughs> Normally during the holidays, people attend numerous parties, numerous family functions, and they have to bring something. And so by December, the ones who cook all the time are kind of sick of it. And so convenience food kind of reigns. That's the time to get those frozen items at a discount so you can keep them the next few months until the next sale happens. Now, like I said, even for the specific items I mentioned, they will cycle through your sales circular every six to eight to 10 to 12 weeks, depending on what it is. So if normally you save 10 to 15% on a normal grocery store sale, but you get something during the holidays that is at a 40% discount, big difference, huge. 
and especially for those things that are shelf stable canned goods baking goods that keep anything like that that is the time to really save money now if you've enjoyed this video please click subscribe and i'll see you next time